us to another episode on ASUG12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the 2020 science paper 1. So now we are looking at section C. Let us start with uh, question C1. Figure C1.1 below is a velocity time graph representing motion of a motor cycle traveling along a straight road. Question A. Describe the motion of the motor cycle between the points. So I have Loma numeral 1 between O and D, P. So what you notice here from this graph is we have the time in seconds, then we have velocity on the uh, y-axis. So what is happening between uh, O and D, P, between this point and this point? What you notice here is velocity is increasing. So velocity is increasing. So since velocity is increasing from 0 to 40 meters per second, then the motorcycle is basically accelerating. So this is accelerating. Accelerating. That is what is happening. Then a Loma numeral 2 between P and Q. So P and Q, what you not see is the graph is flat, meaning the motorcycle is maintaining the speed of 40 meters per second. So at that point, basically, there is no acceleration. So acceleration is, we have zero acceleration. Then uh, Q and R, so between Q and R at this point, you're coming down here, what is happening is, Velocity is reducing from 40 meters per second to 0 meters per second. So what is happening there is basically a deceleration. That is a velocity is a decreasing. A question B. What is the maximum speed of the motor cycle? So the maximum speed, as you see from the graph, is uh, basically uh, 40 meters per second. 40 meters per second. Then see how long did it take the motor cycle to retard to rest. So that's C. Let me answer it from here. So retardation started from uh, this point, which is uh, the middle point between uh, uh, 6 and 8, which is 7, all the way up to 12 seconds. So it's 12 seconds minus 7 seconds. That's when uh, the motor cycle started uh, decreasing or reducing the speed, which is basically 5 seconds. So it took uh, 5 seconds. Uh, question D. Calculate the total distance traveled by the motor cycle. So for us to find the total distance traveled, what we need to do is we need to find the area under the graph. So this area under the graph, we need to find this area. So this is a 3, then this is 7. So this is A and this is a triangle. And this area under this triangle, then this is a rectangle, which I'll call it B, then another triangle C. So to find the distance traveled, we need to find the, just the area under these three uh, segments, then add them together. So distance in this case will be this is 3, remember this is a triangle, then this is 40, so it's basically half times 3 times 40. That's the area under uh, A. Then plus area under B, which is uh, a rectangle. So we have 7 minus 3, which is basically the difference here is a 4. Then the height is 40. So it's 4 times 40. Then plus another triangle, which is C. So it will be from 7 to 12, which is uh, 12 minus C. 7 is a 5 times 40, so you see a 5 times 40. 
then we simplify that half 2 into 2 is a 1 2 into 40 is a 20 so that you have 20 times 3 which is 60 then plus we have uh, 4 times 40 which is 160 then plus we have 2 into 2 is a 1 2 into 40 is a 20 20 times 5 is a 100 when we add this we end up with um, 3 uh, 20 so 320 meters is the total distance traveled by the motor cycle then uh, number E calculate the average velocity for the whole motion motion so average velocity is basically equal to average speed which is equal to distance over total time taken so distance is just from calculating it to be uh, 320 so it's 320 meters divided by time the total time taken is 12 seconds so we divide by uh, 12 if you use our calculator we are going to end up with uh, 26 point six seven which is when you rounded off to two to one decimal place is twenty six point seven meters per second as in the average velocity for the whole motion so basically this is how you answer this question to get the 10 max thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this video to be helpful please uh, consider liking and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by liking subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility a simple like from you makes a big difference so once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got so much content so we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is the best section for you if you're having any challenges in any particular topic